Hey, good morning. Happy Friday. We are on. I'm working on Periscope, trying to get it all fixed up. I think I may have found what the problem was. When I got my new phone, they reinstalled it and they installed a new one. So I was actually working with two Periscope deals and one of them, I was, I was actually broadcasting with the wrong one. So hopefully we got this all straightened out now. And uh, if not, we'll work on it some more. But I think, I think I pretty well got it all straightened out now. So everybody should get it. Where is my entourage? How do I look? I got to look good for Friday. Where, oh, here she is. Here's, here's my entourage. Well, let's see here. Do I look all right? I guess. <laughs> what have you got for us today? You got something for us today? Well, let's see. Well. Let me think. I have a merry minute. Okay. You know, it wasn't long ago that the, um, that the, the time change came about. And I don't know about you, but a lot of our devices and stuff just automatically change to the right time. And I think that's just amazing that they are so smart that they know that. And I was thinking about that and I thought, it's too bad that people don't change when God says them to do something. They don't change as fast as our, our, our um, Device. devices do. Right? Right. But we're going to do that this year, aren't we? We're going to change. When God tells us to do something, we're going to just change right then and do it. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah, huh? Praise God. Hey, I want to talk to you today about how a woman who was totally brain dead was completely healed. Now, this happened... Probably 17, 18 years ago. But it still stands out as, as one of the really... Of course, there's, in, in our ministry, there's literally been thousands of people healed. And many of them off their deathbeds. Many of them. I can't begin to tell you. I know probably at least, at least 10 people healed off of their deathbeds. Most of those were dying of cancer. And were totally healed. But this woman was on her deathbed and she was brain dead. We had a family in our church. So I got to tell you the story. This is, now you're going to hear a story today. But it's, it's, it's really a neat story. And every once in a while, we still sit and talk about it. Uh, we had a family in our church that, that came to us uh, probably three or four weeks, would you say, Mary, after we started our ministry here. After we, we founded our church and we were in a tiny little room here in India Atlantic down on Fifth Avenue, which is uh, like one mile south of here. Actually, 1.3 miles south of here. Mile and a half. Somewhere. Real, our church is 1.3. This would be like another two tenths of a mile further. And so these people came. Well, they came a few weeks, and then they didn't come for a while, and then they came a few weeks, and they, they were sporadic. Well, one day the guy, the family come, the man and his wife came, and they did they, have, they had a grandchild or something they brought with them, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And Mary had him in Sunday school. And he had, he said, I said, does anybody need healing today? And there was just a few people there. We were just getting started. And he said, well, he says, I have a melanoma on my leg. And the doctors say it has already spread. By the time we found it, it it's already spread. Well, a melanoma that has spread is deadly. It's a deadly form of sin, skin cancer. And so he, he came up and I cursed it. I still remember speaking over him, Mary. Mary's sitting right in front of me. I still remember speaking over him. I said, I curse that. In Jesus' name, I curse that cancer. And I tell that to go away. 
and dry up and come out in Jesus' name. That was it. He was supposed to go Thursday for a biopsy, although they were like 100% sure it was cancer. Well, he comes back the next Sunday, and he's all smiles. And I mean, this guy is a guy that didn't have anything to smile about at this point. But he's all smiles when he comes back. And I said, what's going on? He says, well, he says, I got a praise report. I said, oh, and he says, yeah, he says, I went, I got, they, they took a piece of it. And uh, he said, I waited. You know, it was that serious that they had him wait. And so him and his wife sat there and waited. And finally, the doctor says, I got to talk to you. And the doctor says, listen, he says, it is cancer. It definitely is a melanoma. He says, but, he said, the cancer cells are all dead. Doctor said, I've never seen anything like it. He says, those cancer cells, every one of those, those cancer cells we looked at under the microscope, they're all dead. Well, hello, two weeks later, it was totally gone. The man's still alive. That's the family. That's the family we're talking about. Then, uh, a couple, a few months, they didn't come that much. They came off and on, remember? Well, a few months later, uh, the guy calls me up one night. And he says, Pastor Jim, he says, we're going on a trip. And... Uh, he said, all of a sudden, he said, I just got so sick. He said, I just, that, that flu that's been going around, he says, I just got it. He says, I just, am, I just feel deathly ill. <clears throat> he said, everybody's packed. He says, we're in the car. He says, all my family's gone. And he says, I just can't get in a car like this. I said, in the name of Jesus, I tell that flu to leave you right now. Well, didn't see him for a couple of weeks. He came back to church a couple of weeks later. I said, how are you doing? He said, oh, I took my trip. I said, what happened? He says, right after you spoke over me, he says, it left. He says, I got in the car and I was fine. Glory to God. Mm -hmm. Same family. They didn't come for a while. They would come once in a while. They always came when they needed something. Remember? Yeah. This, they, we, always, we still laugh about this family. They show up for church when they need something. Well, one Sunday we were in a little storefront over by this time and another this by and another, by this time we were in our third church. One down there, Patsy's shell shop, and then now we're in the uh place by the pawn shop in the storefront. Little little seven hundred and fifty square foot storefront. We're in there. Just tiny little place. And uh we just had a handful of people and we're in there. And uh well, here, here they come. One car, two car, three cars full of people. Their whole family, all their friends and their relatives showed up for church. We thought, Some, they need something. <laughs> they came in, never said a word. Not one of them even said hello. And they came in and they sat, and they took up probably a third of the church. Three yeah, they took up three, <laughs> three rows because we didn't have very big rows. But they took up three rows. I said, does any, anybody need healing? And their son stood up. And he says, my fiance, the mother of my children, is brain dead. She's up in the hospital. She's brain dead. And the doctors want us to pull the plug to take her off the, take the oxygen off her and, and stop her breathing machine just so she'll die. And he says, we all decided that we're not going to do that till we come to church first. I said, what do you want? He said, I want her back. I want her back. I said, in the name of Jesus, I command that brain to start working. Now, I'm not even up there with her. I'm in church. She's up in the intensive care unit. I said, I command that brain to start working in the name of Jesus. Right now, we bind the devil and we tell that brain to start working. That was it. Out the door. You know, after they stayed for the rest of the service, but then they left. Well, I get a call 
later that week, he said, we went up to the hospital. He says, when we went up to the hospital, he says, her eyes or something was fluttering. He says, so they started doing more tests on her and they found a little bit of brain activity. And as the afternoon wore on, her brain began to come alive. And by the next day, she was awake. The day after that, she was totally healed and she went home to be with her family. And the next Sunday. And the next Sunday, they were all there again. <laughs> it, it, I'm telling you, it, is there is so much power in the name of Jesus. Does it, you know, it, it does, you know, it, if a person has a cold, somebody called me, uh, one of our new partners called me, and she says, Pastor Jim, 30 minutes after you prayed for me on the phone, my cold went away. Praise God. From a cold to brain dead, the power in the name of Jesus can heal any sickness or any disease. I'm telling you what there is. I tell it like this, Mary. There is nobody I can't get healed with the power in the name of Jesus. Paul said, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. I operate in the power of God's might through the wonderful name of Jesus. And I'm telling you what, it's just that simple. And that's how we get people healed. If you're sick or you know anybody that's sick, go to our website, increasenow.com. I'm telling you what, people, we can get you healed. There is nobody we can't get healed. There is no sickness no disease that is not susceptible to the wonderful name of Jesus. The power, the power in that name. There is so much power in that name that will heal anybody. That, that power in the name of Jesus, that'll heal your finances too. Go to increasenow.com. If you need me to pray for you, call me. My number is right there. Hook up with this ministry. Help us send this message around the world. Share this message with everybody you know who either needs healing or needs financial increase. Because I'll tell you what, we will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for him. There is no reason anybody should be sick or broke because of that power. Increasenow.com. All of our contact information is right there. Was that good today? Call me if you need prayer. I'm telling you what, if you need anything, we can get it for you. Hey, go out there today. Make it a great day. A good day, a happy day, a wonderful day. Make it a great weekend this weekend. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.